In this video, I want to talk to you about how to get promoted and why you may have not been promoted. That's what this session is about. Anytime that we give out promotions, all the people that didn't get promoted may get offended, may get upset. But the reality is, is we found the best candidates that crushed their KPIs that exuded the core values, that hit their numbers, that have expertise, the capabilities, the strategy and the execution to take on the next role. Maybe it was because their leadership, their support, their team management. But anytime, why did I not get promoted? I wanna talk about that. This is such an important topic that no one teaches you anywhere. First reason, first thing you need to do about why did I not get promoted and someone else did? First thing, did you hit your KPIs? I will not let us promote anyone that does not consistently hit their key performance indicators. Even if you had one month, two months, three months of great performance, and then you had a bad month, bad two months, bad three months, bad quarter, it would look terrible as a leader if someone that was successful in the past but is not successful in the present, you promoted them because it demoralizes the current team, it demoralizes the hard work. So the first things first that you have to ask yourself is, did you hit your KPIs? And it can't just be in the past. I worked with a lot of salespeople, sales leaders, entrepreneurs, AEs, SDRs, who crushed it for a year and then had a real shitty following year who crushed it for Q1 and then had a bad Q2. The only thing that matters is can you put up results consistently, repeatedly, persistently over time, yet again and again and again, because sales leaders, C-suite, they need to hire, they need to work with people that they can rely on day in and day out to get the job done. Now we operate as a meritocracy. Not every company may operate as a meritocracy, but the best companies in the world think, act, operate, and do like a meritocracy. That means the people that hit their KPIs consistently over time get rewarded with more opportunity, more leadership, more raises, more promotions. And it's not just good enough to hit your KPIs. You have to crush your KPIs. C-suite leaders, entrepreneurs like myself, I'm looking to hire people and promote people that go above and beyond time and time again. Next, gotta ask yourself, am I a WIT person? What does this mean? Am I a WIT person? WIT stands for whatever it takes. Your leadership comes to you with new problems, strategies, ideas that we need to execute in the marketplace. Are you a yes, let's do it, whatever it takes, let's go make it happen. I am your person. I am the partner for you, Mr. or Mrs. CEO, to go make this project happen right now. Or are you a non-WIT person? We can't do that. It's not possible. I don't want to do that. I'm negative about everything in my life. Because the people that I want to promote and the people that I want to work with are the yes people, the whatever it takes people, the we can do anything no matter what, regardless of circumstance, challenge, budget, resources. We want to promote people that will do whatever it takes, regardless of their situation, who will assume 100% responsibility to just make shit happen. That's the second question you need to ask yourself. Am I a WIT person? Do I do whatever it takes? And if you don't, get my book, Whatever It Takes, and see if you've got the habits, the strategies, the mindset to maximize your success in business relationships and life. This book will change your life and it will help you become a WIT person. It's number two. Number three, am I positive? Positive has a lot to do with high emotional intelligence. If you exude high emotional intelligence, it's easy for you to be positive all the time. Let me give you an example. You may have just been surpassed for a promotion. Let me tell you low emotional intelligence. Let's just say you're at a company with 100 employees or you're on a sales team of 100 people. You've been there six months to a year and you see five people get promoted over you. You get super negative. I hate the company. I hate the leadership. They're out to get me. First off, if you act like that, you didn't deserve the promotion in the first place. Why? Because you're not positive. You got to stay positive. And in these situations where you could be negative, you reach out to your manager, reach out to your C-suite. Hey, manager, love that I consistently get to see the team expand and grow. I want to be 
the biggest contributor here at the company? What do I need to learn? What do I need to master so that the next time you look for people to promote for those positions, I am at the top of your list. What am I missing? What can you coach me on? You have to be positive about the situation. Obviously, your management, your leadership felt that you were either missing something in results, strategy, execution, attitude, or in work ethic, or in culture that comprised them to promote someone else. I'm not going to get mad that I wasn't promoted. I'm going to view this as positive feedback to improve. That goes into my next point, coachability. And coachability means improve 1% every day. Yeah, when you're positive, when you're hitting your numbers, and if you're still not getting promoted, coachability is all about having an open dialogue, not getting defensive, not getting stressed about the situation. Your management, your leaders will have feedback for you. And you just have to ask for the feedback. Don't threaten management. Don't get angry. Be totally open and ask your management, okay, how can we define success of me mastering these things? If you're telling me I'm bad at sales discovery, what can I do to improve sales discovery? How can we measure success of me actually accomplishing that task? And then you know, like, okay, if they mention these four things, write out the four things, work on them weekly with your managers to master them, get certification approval. Even if there isn't a certificate available, create a certificate. Hey, blank. Hey, manager, I want you to sign off that I mastered this when I complete all these tasks. Is that okay? Literally assume responsibility. You can create your own certification that you did the things that they told you to do to then get the promotion. And that's what being coachable is all about. The next tip, assume responsibility for your success or lack of success. This is critical. You can't play the victim game. We talked about this with being positive. The people that lose in life blame everyone else. They blame their company, they blame their clients, they blame their friends, they blame their income, they blame their location, they blame their grandma and grandpa, anything and everything for why they weren't successful. It's like, dude, assume 100% responsibility. If you didn't get promoted, it's because of you, it's not because of anyone else. And you gotta step up, stop complaining and moaning and blaming other people. Where you're at today is because of you. Where you're not at today is because of you. What you're missing to get to where you want to go that you're not at right now is because of you. You got to step up and own your future. What are you doing right now to achieve where you want to go? What are you not doing right now to achieve where you want to go? For example, I want to drop 10 pounds. I want to get 5% body fat, but guess what? I eat like shit. I drink with my friends. I go out and eat garbage food, fried food, whatever. And then the next week, I bitch and complain that I'm not at where I want to be. Well, I'm not at where I want to be because of me. I didn't make the sacrifices, the hard work, the dedication, the determination, the effort to work out, eat healthy, do what it takes to be successful. That's not on anyone else but me. That's not on my wife. That's not on my parents. That's not on because I live in Columbus, Ohio, in Tampa, Florida. That's not because it's snowy. That's not because it's raining. That's not because it's sunshine. It's because of me. Same with your sales success. And I can sit here and wake up every day and blame my 200 employees. But guess what? The blame game is not assuming 100% responsibility. The blame game is not being coachable. It's not doing whatever it takes. The blame game is for losers. The blame game is for victims. We do not play the victim game here. That's bullshit. You assume 100% responsibility for your success and for your failure. And once you do that, once you never play the victim game, you will become limitless because guess what? All the excuses go out the fucking door. There are no more excuses. And that is what is required to get that promotion. And then lastly, last tip, hard, hard work. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You need to work your ass off. Top 1% work day in and day out. No matter what, the most successful people in the world, the people that are getting the promotions, the people that are generating sales, that are increasing their leads, increasing their appointments, increasing their revenue, achieving results that no one in the industry has achieved. This is what they do. They work hard. You got to put in the work. All of these attributes go together so that you can get promoted. 
And I wish my managers told me this shit. No one tells you this stuff. You know, now that I've, I've sold over $100 million in sales, built two multiple eight-figure companies, I wish my managers told me this. You know, the company has you at the company for a reason. They think that you're an asset to the company. So never believe that management is out against you. I'm never out against any of my employees. If I'm out against any of my employees, I'm going to fire them. I'm going to get them out of my organization as fast as possible. Like no leadership wants their employees not to grow, not to get better, not to get promoted, not to take on more responsibility and maximize their potential personally and professionally. It's these secrets that I share with you today will change the way that you look at getting promoted. And it starts with you. How are you being positive? How are you being coachable? How are you doing hard work? How are you doing whatever it takes? And again, my book, whatever it takes, I wrote this book. If you want to get promoted, this book will change your life and help you get promoted insanely fast. If you want to sell millions of dollars in sales, this book will help you do that insanely fast. And it teaches many of the core habits that we just went over today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section if you found this video of value. We post daily videos to help maximize your success in business, relationship, sales, and life. Sales secrets on the daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on notifications so every video that we drop, you get notified. And good luck. I can't wait to see you get promoted.